say Miami is not the place to do this. Um, you know, the ability to take the long-term view and and um, focus on doing what we're doing to lead the community rather than you know focus on the politics is kind of really um, a clear message. And you know, whether it's our own companies or portfolio companies or the funding side of things, you know. Um, he agrees with us that we just have to kind of keep going and really pick an identity. Hey Brad. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? It's pretty awesome what uh, y'all are working on and I just was down here and I wanted to see it. I think Miami, like so many other uh, cities uh, in the U.S. and around the world, has this startup revolution going on right now, and the startup community here is really, really powerful. Um, like all other startup communities, it takes a very long time to develop, and the awesome thing that I've encountered is that it's being led by entrepreneurs like these guys. And so instead of being something that's a top-down phenomenon that's being dictated or controlled by government or by the university or something like that, it's a bunch of entrepreneurs who are just doing what entrepreneurs do, which is create things. And Rocker Labs is a great example of that, but also then sort of on a broader arc, the companies that are being created here in Miami, uh, they, they'll take a long time to blossom, but that's part of the excitement and part of the energy and dynamic around it. Uh, if you have entrepreneurs driving it, then, uh, then you have a chance of having some success. One thing that it's going to take is commitment to being in Miami, to growing this in Miami and you know, saying no to the naysayers and doing what we really think is going to build That's right. great companies out here. I mean, it's 2013 and when people say, well, how long, you know, how long does this take? I said, check back in 2033. You know, it's uh, just have a long view and play, play a long game and recognize there'll be lots of ups and downs, but that's what you're going after. And more of the local entrepreneurs have to continue uh, to step up and play leadership roles. So I think it's, it's not like there's some magic thing that's ha that happens, but it's every month, every quarter, every year, if another entrepreneur plays leadership, uh, plays a leadership role and continues to uh, work with the, the other entrepreneurs that will make the progress. The thing underlying that is this notion of inclusivity and the idea that anybody who wants to participate, it should be easy for them to participate. Anybody that's already here should welcome anybody else who wants to engage.